I want to welcome you back to Christ Jesus' Law Ministries. This is where the Bible speaks. Today we'll be looking at a very interesting subject. We'll be looking at the most powerful and dangerous war for your prayer. You can pray against your enemies. And our subtopic is prayers that will destroy your enemies. Well, I must inform my viewers and my listeners before we go any further that there are those who will tell you that to pray certain prayers it is witchcraft and that it is wrong to pray certain prayers and they will tell you that certain prayers that are in the psalms that david and the other psalmist wrote that was for their time but hear what the bible has to say and bear with me in second timothy chapter 3 Verse 16 and 17. Verses 16 and 17. It says all scripture is given by inspiration of God. And is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. Yes. They will say then, yes, that was for David's time. That was for Solomon's time. That was for. Hesop and all the other psalmists. They who were in. Exile in Babylon. And those who were before the exile in Babylon. And that it's there as an example. Set forth to show us the kind of prayer. That they used to pray. But let us look at. Second. Peter chapter 1 verses 19 to 21. It says we have also a more sure word of prophecy. Whereunto you do well that you take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place. Until the day dawn and the day star arise in your heart. Knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. So now, am I to understand that the Psalms that are there written in the books of the Psalm, the Holy Spirit moved the holy men of God, David, Solomon, Asaph, sons of Korah, and all the other who wrote the Psalms. So, what? Peter is helping us to understand that the Word of God is divine and it inspired. It didn't come by the will of man. So the Psalmist did not utter words against his enemies or any other biblical authors uttered mere words because they were moved by the compulsion of their emotion to speak destruction or destructive words against their enemy. Now, one must note that witches and wizard, all soul enemies, those in the occult, those who deal with the devil, are constantly praying. And they are praying some serious prayers against people of God as well as to those who have not yet accepted God. They are praying for the destruction of families, marriages, your destiny, your success, against your health, your marriages, your business, and against you as a whole. So now we are going to look at one of the most dangerous and the most powerful prayer. And that's how I considered it in the Bible. So let's move forward. And before we go forward, let us pray. Father, we thank you, Father, for your word which is divinely inspired. And your word which came not by the will of man, but holy men of God speak as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Therefore, the word containing scripture is 
given by the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, and it is divinely inspired. Father, guide us now in this study. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, I must let you know that this study is more of a prayer. And warfare, warfare prayers. And let us look at Psalm 109. Now, you can read the entire chapter when you have the time. Let's take from verse 4 to 10. It says, For my love they are my adversaries, but I give myself unto prayer. And they have rewarded me evil for good and hatred for my love. And this is the backdrop to which the psalmist pray. And he starts, look at verse 6, at these serious prayer points that the psalmist prayed. The psalmist says, Set no a wicked man over him, and let Satan stand at his right hand. When he shall be judged, let him be condemned, and let his prayer become sin. Let his days be few. And let another take his office. Let his children be fatherless and his wife a widow. Let his children be continually vagabonds and beg. Let them seek their bread also out of their desolate places. I've heard several preachers, pastors who say that there are certain psalms and certain prayers that you're not supposed to pray. Because Jesus changed it when he came, he said... You must love your neighbor as yourself and you must bless those who curse you. And I must say to these pastors and these preachers that from time immemorial, we were always, or the people of God were always supposed to bless their enemies and do good to them that do bad to them. They were supposed to love their enemies as their self. Because Jesus was asked, what is the great command? He said, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, all thy soul, and with all thy strength. And Jesus didn't even wait for the liar to ask, what is the second? Jesus said, the second is like unto the first, love your neighbor as yourself. You understand? And Jesus said, you have heard it been said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But if a man strike you on the right side turn the left jesus is not saying that you should stand up like a fool and be killed like an idiot because david said to abner your hands were not born but yet still you die like a fool he let joab kill them and he had his sword and he was a man of war a soldier he let an evil man kill them so i'm not here to tell you to stand up and let any Wicked men or women, witches, wizards, occult practitioners, household enemies, or any form of enemies or adversaries that you have, kill you because you refuse to pray. As I said before I jump into these prayer points, I was speaking with an individual. I said to the individual, if I do wrong, yes, even though it's an evil spirit that is sent against me, or the evil spirit that tempts me to do the wrong, who is going to face the consequences? No. Is it the evil spirit? If I should go out there and commit robbery, murder, or anything like that, are the police going to capture apprehend, or apprehend the evil spirit and put them in prison put him in prison or i'm the one who is going to suffer the consequences of my action even though it's the evil spirit that prompted me and tempted me and i yielded to the temptation so by default when one prayer these prayers even though they're saying yes you must pray against the evil spirit by default, you pray against the evil spirit. The evil spirit is going to afflict the one that it inhabits. Now, let's get into a prayer point from the backdrop of Psalm 109, verse 6 to, to verse 10. First prayer point number one. O Lord, say this prayer with me. O Lord, set thou a wicked man over my enemies. In Jesus' name, amen. 
O Lord, set thou a wicked man over all my enemies, my household enemies, my friendly enemies. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> Prayer point number two. Father, arise and command Satan to stand at the right hand of all my household enemies, witches and wizards that are fighting against my destiny and my family's destiny. O oh, Father God, arise and command Satan to stand at the right hand of all my household enemies, witches and wizards that are fighting against my destiny and family's destiny. Father, arise and allow Satan, let Satan stand at the right hand of all my household enemies, witches and wizards that are fighting against my destiny and my family's destiny in Jesus' name. Amen. Point number three. Let all my enemies be condemned when they are judged in Jesus' name. Amen. Father God, let all my enemies be condemned when they are judged in Jesus' name. All my enemies that are fighting against my prosperity, my health, my family, my wife, my son, my daughter, my success, my business, let them be condemned when they are judged in Jesus' name. Amen. Prayer point number four. O oh Lord, O oh Lord, let the prayer of my enemies become sin in Jesus' name. Amen. Say this prayer point. O oh Lord, let the prayer of my enemies become a transgression in Jesus' name. Amen. Per point number five. O oh Lord, let the days of my enemies be few upon the earth and let others replace them in Jesus' name. Amen. Let the days of my enemies be few. Let the days of my enemies be few upon the earth. And let others replace them in Jesus' name. Amen. Per point number six. Father, arise. Father, arise. And let the children of witches and wizards, also enemies, friendly enemies, fighting against me, be fatherless and motherless in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, arise. And let all my enemies that are fighting against my business, my health, my success, my marriage, my destiny, my children, be fatherless and motherless in Jesus' name. Amen. Prayer point number seven, and this is the final point in this session. Father God, let the children of all my traitors beg for bread in Jesus' name. Amen. Father God, let the children of all my traitors beg for bread in Jesus' name. Amen. We have come to the end of session one of our prayer point. Let's go into section two. Now, Psalm 109, verse 11 to 15. The psalmist continued the prayer. He said, Let the extortioner catch all that he has, and let the stranger spoil his labor. Let there be none to extend mercy unto him, neither let there be any to favor his fatherless children. Let his posterity be cut off, and in the generation following, let their name be blotted out. Let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered with the Lord, and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Let them be before the Lord continually, that he may cut off the memory of them from the earth. Per point number one, extortioners. Extortioners begin to catch the possessions of all my enemies and foes working against my life and my family in Jesus' name. Amen. Extortioners 
spoilers begin to catch the possessions of all my enemies who are working against my life and family in Jesus name amen for point number two O Lord arise and send strangers to spoil the labor to spoil the work of those calling me and my family for destruction and shame in Jesus name amen O Lord arise and send strangers to spoil the labor and work of those calling me and my family for destruction and shame in Jesus' name. Amen. Arise, O Father, and send strangers to spoil the labor, to spoil the work of those calling me and my family for destruction and shame in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, spoil them, spoil them, spoil them, destroy them in Jesus' name. Amen. For point number three, Father, let men be merciless to all those seeking to destroy me and my family in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, let men be merciless to all those seeking to destroy me and my family in Jesus' name. Amen. For point number four, let favor, O Lord, be far from their children. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, let favor be far from their children. In Jesus' name, amen. For point number five, O God, arise and cut off the posterity of all those who are fighting against my destiny and my family's destiny. In Jesus' name, amen. Arise, O Father, cut off the prosperity of all those fighting against my destiny and my family's destiny in Jesus name Amen for point number six O Lord arise and blot out the names from your book of life every unrepentant O soul enemies witches and wizards from your book of life in Jesus' name, amen. O Lord, arise and blot out the names from your book of life, every unrepentant household enemies, witches and wizards, in Jesus' name, amen. Arise, O Lord, and blot out the names from your book of life, every unrepentant household enemies, witches and wizards, in Jesus' name, amen. For point number seven, my heavenly father, remember the iniquity of their fathers and forget not the sins of their wicked mothers. In Jesus' name, amen. My heavenly father, remember the iniquity of my enemies, fathers and mothers. In Jesus' name, amen. My Heavenly Father, remember the iniquity of my enemies' fathers and forget not the sins of the wicked mothers. In Jesus' name, amen. For point number eight, O Lord, forget not the wickedness of my persecutors and scatter them in shame. In Jesus' name, amen. O oh Lord, forget not the wickedness of my prosecutors and scatter them in shame in Jesus' name. Amen. Scatter them in shame. Scatter them in shame. Scatter my persecutors in shame in Jesus' name. Amen. We have come to the end of section number two. We go into section number three. Per section number three. Psalms 109, 17, verse 17 to 21. This is our portion of scripture for contemplation and prayer. It says, As he loved cursing, so let it come unto him. As he delighted not in blessing, so let it be far from him. As he clothed himself with cursing, like as with his garment, so let it come into his bowels like water. 
and like oil into his bones. Let it be unto him as the garment which covereth him, and for a girdle wherewith he is girded, girded continually. Let this be the reward of mine adversaries from the Lord, and of them that speak evil against my soul. But do thou for me, O God, the Lord, for thy name's sake, because thy mercy is good, deliver thou me. This is our final section, section number three. And let's go into our prayer point. Prayer point number one. Let the cursing and curses of all witches, wizards, and also enemies fall upon themselves. In Jesus' name, amen. Let the cursing and curses of all witches, wizards, and household enemies fall upon themselves in Jesus' name. Amen. Let the cursing and curses of all witches and wizards, household enemies, friendly enemies, friendly household enemies fall upon themselves in Jesus' name. Amen. For point number two, O oh Lord, arise and let blessings run away from my enemies and my foes in Jesus' name. Amen. O oh Lord, arise and let blessings run away from my enemies and my foes in Jesus' name. Amen. For point number three, O oh Father, O oh Father, let the curses of the enemies, witches and wizards, close them as with their garments in Jesus' name. Amen. O oh, Father, let the curses of the enemies, witches and wizards, close them as with their garments in Jesus' name. Amen. For point number four. Father, let their curses come into their bowels like water and like oil into their bones in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, let the curses of the enemies come into their bowels like water. Let the curses of the witches and wizards and also enemies come into their bowels like water and like oil into their bones in Jesus' name. Amen. For point number five, my father, let all my prayer be the reward of my enemies and foes in Jesus' name. Amen. For point number five, my father, let all my prayer be the reward of my enemies and my foes in Jesus' name. Amen. Let my prayer be the reward of my enemies. Let my prayer be the reward of my enemies. In Jesus' name, amen. For point number six. O oh God, my Lord, do for me what no man can do for me. In Jesus' name, amen. O oh God, my Lord, let the Spirit of God do for me what no man can do for me. O oh God, my Lord, Arise, arise, and do for me what no man can do for me. Do for my wife what no man can do for her. Do for my son what no man can do for him. Do for my daughter what no man can do for her. Do for my family what no man can do for them. In Jesus' name, amen. For point number seven, O oh Lord my God, help me. Help my family, help my wife, help my son, help my daughter, and save us in Jesus' name. Amen. O oh Lord my God, help me and save me in Jesus' name. Amen. O oh Lord my God, help me and save me in Jesus' name. Amen. For point number eight. My Father, let my enemies be clothed with shame. Let them cover themselves with confusion in Jesus' name. Amen. My Father, let the enemies of my destiny, let the enemies of my family, let the enemies of my business, let the enemies of my success, 
let the enemies of my ministry, let the enemies of my life and my family's life be closed with shame. In Jesus' name, amen. For point number nine, Lord, stand at my right hand. Stand at the right hand of my family. Stand at the right hand of my wife, my son, my daughter. And save us from those that condemn our souls. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord, stand at my right hand. Stand and save me, my family, my son, my daughter, my wife, my mother, my father, from those that condemn my soul in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, stand at my right hand and save me and my family. Save my brothers, my sisters, my mother, my father. Save my family from those that condemn our souls in Jesus' name. Amen. Now we have come to the close of this prayer, warfare prayer and presentation and i hope and trust that you will pray these prayers many will tell you that it is wrong but the word of god says that this psalm 109 is by inspiration and it is profitable for doctrine and it says that holy men of god speak as they were moved by the holy ghost in jesus name if you have not yet subscribed subscribe to the channel and I hope that you will share and leave your comment. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. God bless you. Until our next presentation, be blessed. Amen.